believe, actually participated in an event a few weeks ago um, with this presentation. And so tonight we have uh, Brianne Gilbert and we have Fernando Guerra from um, LMU who are going to be giving a short presentation about some work that they recently did. So um, I think that Brianne or Gilbert will be presenting from their computer. So hopefully we have that um, permission allowed for them to go ahead. Hello there. Thank you all very much. And yes, I do now have permission. Thank you very much. I will go ahead and get that set up here in just one second. And may I ask if you're able to see the blue screen in front of you? All right. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, so yes, the um, this study that we're going to be presenting um, uh, very briefly for, <laughs> suggested a 10 minute presentation, then we're happy to do question and answers after that. This is a study that we conducted along with ethnic media services earlier this year. And Study LA is a research center at Loyola Marymount University. And um, in a very short summary of what we do, um, we advocate for a better, more equitable LA through three components of research, student mentorship, and engagement with residents and leaders. So here on this screen is a very quick methodology for what we did. Um, we were sampling 600 adult residents living in Los Angeles County um, throughout uh, two weeks in July earlier this year. Um, the survey consisted of 15 minute telephone and online surveys conducted in four different languages, English, Spanish, Mandarin, and Korean. And also want to point out that the, um, the blue areas that you see on the map, those represent the, the, excuse me, zip codes that are located within one mile of the Los Angeles River. So we wanna highlight that we do have residents both from um, uh, near the river as well as farther away. So the very first question we asked in the survey is, are you aware that there is a river called the Los Angeles River that runs from the San Fernando Valley through downtown Los Angeles and empties out into the Pacific Ocean in Long Beach? 600 adults were asked this question and we see that um, roughly four in five, so 83%, that they were familiar. Not surprisingly, those who had a longer tenure and have been in Los Angeles for longer, um, as well as those who are older, who are completing our survey, um, both groups had a higher degree of familiarity with the LA River. Interestingly enough, there was no statistical difference between those who were located close to the river as far as compared to those who are farther away. The next question um, was asked of those who said they were aware of the river. Um, have you ever been to the river? So this was our next question. And we saw that roughly half of those individuals said that they had um, that they had been to the river. The next question we wanted to see was, have you ever done any of the following? Again, these, this question was asked only of those who had been to the river in the previous question. By far the highest, um, the highest response was for those who said they had been walking to around the river and along the river, 82%. Um, and the next largest proportion of respondents said they had spent time relaxing at the river. Not surprisingly, we saw that individuals um, who have children in their household had a higher likelihood of responding positively to these particular questions. The next question that we asked was an open-ended question looking at what comes to mind when you think of the river. Um, so we did a simple word cloud just to see which particular um, particular words would stand out. Water, river, not surprising, um, but then other words such as dirty or concrete or homeless were also top of mind. The next question we were asking about, you know, if there was to be a, a vision of the river with more parks, natural areas, access to paths and recreational and cultural opportunities, how likely would you be to visit the river in this scenario? By and large, people said that they would indeed be likely 85%. And we saw that some of the higher um, uh, groups of respondents who said they were more likely to go to the river were those who were younger, um, as well as those who um, were in households with children. Um, but across the board, there is um, high levels of likelihood of visiting a river with this different sense. The next question was about awareness for a county master plan. Um, 
by and large individuals were not familiar, only 21% said that they were aware. Um, and some of the groups that were least likely to be aware were um, uh, Latino or Latina respondents, as well as those who rent as opposed to own, um, those who completed the survey in either Korean or Spanish, those who are younger or who had lower household incomes. The next question uh, we wanted to ask about the master plan and which of the following people would like to see um, happen along the LA River. So for this question, we see there's a lot of respondents saying yes, they would like to see a number of these different, um, these different ideas, building more bike and pedestrian paths, building more parks, creating more access points where it was feasible, removing concrete to create the natural areas creating a more, a more opportunities for recreation or keeping concrete the way it is to control flooding. The lowest level of support, just slightly over half, was removing all concrete and returning the river to its natural state. And then on the next slide, we have the question of priorities. So what should the following, um, the following aspects be a high priority, a low priority, or not at all a priority? of the river. And you see that the top four answers that all had more than um, three-fourths of the respondents saying they were a high priority were a habitat for plants and animals, capturing the storm water for future use before it gets to the ocean, flood control, and ensuring that current residents are not displaced by new development. So all four of these, like I said, received more than three-fourths of the respondents saying that they were a high priority. Um, a number of areas also said that they were a low priority with very few respondents in any of the categories saying that they were not at all a priority. And we have them ranked on the screen as we do in many of our slides, just to, um, although the questions were randomized as we were asking the respondents, we wanna keep it um, as easy to understand as possible by having it in numeric order. Then in the next survey question, we were looking at um, the concern and how concerned people were about revitalizing um, the, uh, the efforts to revitalize the river and looking at the, the um, various aspects. And number one topping the list was the, that the homeless encampments along the river would increase, followed by taxes may increase, um, or the possibility of leading to gentrification or displacing the current residents. All three of those had um, notable support of two thirds or more of their respondents, whereas um, some of the other plans being not feasible or not realistic or should be investing in parks elsewhere had support right around 50% or lower. The next question we were asking about was, how likely do you think it is that the LA River could become a world-class attraction? And then we gave a couple examples of um, what would be considered a world-class attractions elsewhere throughout the world. And we see that um, uh, almost two thirds of the respondents say that something like this would be likely to happen with the LA River. Um, we also see that uh, Latinas and Latinos were the most likely to think that this could be possible in LA. And we also saw that um, as uh, individuals aged, that they were um, less likely to think that this was a possibility. So the younger generations were a bit more optimistic in that area. And then here we asked about, just in general, when you think about efforts to, um, uh, to revitalize the river, what is the level of support that we see? And overwhelming support, 91% said they support the efforts, breaking that down, uh, fairly, um, fairly uh, consistent responses between the strongly support as well as the somewhat support in the 40% um, percentile range for that. And we also see that looking at across all different demographics, that support is very high. It was at least 82% or higher for every single demographic we had asked about on the survey. And then for the last question, we asked, not just do people support, support the efforts overall, but now if you had to put some money behind that, would you support or oppose a tax increase to revitalize the river? And here we see that support drop, um, but still 40% said that they would support an increase um, with the largest proportion of that being those who said they would somewhat support at 37%. 
30%, whereas 51% said that they would oppose um, the efforts for, uh, for, for taxes to revitalize the river. So that concludes our very brief survey, and we're happy to answer any questions from anyone.